I can't believe we are finally here. Kirsty Tate cried, grinning. I've always dreamed about taking part in a real cheerleading competition. Her best friend, Rachel Walker, squeezed her hand. I can't believe it. You and your squad have worked really hard. I'm so glad I got to come along to watch you compete. The girls linked arm and stepped across the huge lawn in the middle of Crow College campus. They come to Crow City with Christie's parents for the big junior cheerleading competition that weekend. It was Christie's first year on the squad, and this was their very first competition. Rachel and Christie had only just arrived, but the weekend already felt magical. Tumble over that way, Mr. Tate called from behind the girls, pointing to a large brick building on one corner of the lawn. The archway over the door read Cove College Gymnasium. Christy smiled and did a series of cartwheels on her way to the gym. Rachel woke and applauded as Mr. and Mrs. Tate caught up with them. Is the rest of your squad meeting you here? Rachel asked, pulling the gym door open. Yep, it's our last practice before the competition tomorrow, Trusty said, peering around the massive gym in awe. Though I'm not sure how I'll ever find them, this place is huge. Girls and boys were scattered all over the gym. Some were stretching and warming up, while others chatted excitedly. Colorful mats covered the floor, and Rachel and Christy could see piles of pom-poms and stack of megaphones over by the bleachers. Christy, a voice on the couch. A girl with a curly black ponytail ran up and gave Christy a hug. Can you believe all this? Christy shook her head, smiling. I guess we need a big gym to hold this much cheer. She turned to Rachel. Rachel, this is my friend, Sunny. She is the captain of our squad. I can't wait to see your routine. Rachel said, waving as Christy and Sunny ran off to join their teammates. Come on, Rachel, Mrs. Tate said. Let's find a spot on the bleachers to watch them practice. On the bleachers, Ms. Rachel, Mrs. Tate and Mr. Tate had a perfect view of the whole gym. There was an awful lot of, to see. Rachel counted 10 different squads practicing before she turned over her attention back to Christie's team. Okay, let's go, Sunny cried. She and a boy with spiky brown hair led the squad in their opening cheer. Rachel couldn't help noticing that they were all out of sync. Some of the kids were forgetting the words and others were doing the wrong arm movements. Maybe they just need a minute to get warmed up, Rachel thought, frowning. Their coach, Mrs. Doe, stood to one side, shaking her head in confusion. I never seen them make so many mistakes, Mrs. Tate murmured. What could be going on?